Ever wondered about the intricate tapestry that makes up deaf culture? It's a vibrant world brimming with rich history, shared experiences, and its very own language. But did you know that there's a difference between being medically deaf and culturally deaf? One is a condition of hearing loss, while the other is a unique way of experiencing life, not based on sounds, but on visual communication. Intriguing, isn't it? Do you want to know why not all medically deaf individuals identify with the deaf culture? Then stay tuned. Deaf culture, much like any other, is a rich blend of shared experiences and values. It's a cultural mosaic shaped by those who are deaf, encapsulating beliefs, attitudes, history, norms, literary traditions, and art. Its roots run deep in the educational backgrounds of the community, where sign languages originated and continue to thrive. Schools for the deaf often serve as gateways to this culture, especially since many deaf individuals are born into hearing families. Beyond language, an integral part of deaf culture is the concept of deaf gain. This perspective counters the medical term hearing loss by focusing on the positive experiences and unique insights that come with being deaf. It's a shift in perspective that celebrates the visual world that deaf people inhabit, rather than mourning the absence of sound. In essence, deafness is not a disability needing correction, but a unique way of experiencing life. The term deaf culture wasn't coined in a vacuum. It has a profound historical context. It was first introduced by Carl G. Kronberg in 1965 in the Dictionary of American Sign Language to highlight the remarkable similarities between deaf and hearing cultures. But the journey of deaf culture doesn't stop there. It is a journey marked with milestones and significant moments, which have shaped and continue to shape this vibrant culture. One such pivotal event was the Deaf President Now movement in 1988 at Gallaudet University. Picture this. A university primarily for deaf students was on the brink of having its seventh president, and the selected candidate was a hearing person. This decision lit a spark among the students, who believed that a deaf person should lead an institution primarily for the deaf. They rose in protest, took over the campus, and did not back down until their voices were heard. After days of relentless protest, the hearing candidate stepped down, and Dr. I. King Jordan, a deaf professor, was appointed as the new president. This event resonated across the globe, showcasing the power of unity and the demand for representation within the deaf community. It was a moment of triumph for deaf culture, strengthening its roots and shaping its future. The Deaf President Now movement was a pivotal moment in deaf history, highlighting the power of unity and the demand for representation. Every culture has unique characteristics that make it stand out, and deaf culture is no exception. At its core, deaf culture is a celebration of diversity and resilience, and it is characterized by several unique aspects. Firstly, sign language is not just a communication tool, but a cornerstone of deaf identity. It's a rich and complex language that reflects the experiences and worldview of the deaf community. It's a language that speaks volumes through silence, and its visual nature aligns perfectly with the visual orientation of deaf individuals. This brings us to the second unique aspect of deaf culture, the reliance on eyesight. Deaf individuals often have a heightened visual perception, which is a fundamental part of their experience. This visual orientation is not just about seeing, it's about understanding, interpreting, and connecting with the world in a way that is fundamentally different from the hearing community. Finally, the bond within the deaf community is incredibly strong. Deaf individuals share not just a language, but a common experience and a shared history. This shared experience fosters a strong sense of community, solidarity, and mutual understanding. It's a community that thrives on shared stories, shared struggles, and shared victories. Deaf culture, with its strong traditions, norms, and behaviors, is a testament to the resilience and vibrancy of the deaf community. So why does deaf culture matter? Deaf culture, like any other, is a rich tapestry of shared experiences, values, traditions, and history. It's a community bound by the unique experience of life without sound, but rich in visual communication through sign language. It's a culture that has fought for recognition and equality, with significant milestones like the Deaf President Now movement. Understanding deaf culture helps us appreciate the diversity of human experiences and challenges our preconceptions about deafness.